it's been a while since uh, I've made a video, and the reason for that is I'm working really hard on porting plasticity to Parasolid. And today I just wanted to make a little status report, progress update, and show off a couple features that I think are really interesting in Parasolid. So one of the things that makes Parasolid quite unique is that you can inscribe curves directly into bodies. Now one of the ways I've used that is um, to simulate the inset operation from polygonal modeling, um, but in the context of NURBS. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the boundary loop of a face, and I'm offsetting it and imprinting it directly onto the face in face's interior. And that allows you to do box modeling in a way that's quite similar to Blender, and I think is quite cool for, for blocking out shapes. Now, interestingly, you can do this on planar faces as well as um, curved surfaces. So for example, here I can inscribe something like this, and this is on a curved surface. Now, it can get confusing for curved surfaces, but it's, at least in simple cases, I think it's quite useful. And it allows you to echo geometry and make interesting shapes relatively fluidly. Now the other thing that I think is interesting is that you, know, you can offset individual edges, right? And this is kind of what makes it different than just an inset command. You can move the edges in any direction on the body, OK? And this is true uh, of faces as well. You can move these edges around and sort of echo um, echo geometry elsewhere on the body. And you know, it's interesting that you can have these like free floating edges in parasolid. They are not always useful. You might want to just like finish them so that you bound a section of the face. But you can still use them for things like making a pipe, for example, or making panel lines um, if you're doing sci-fi type stuff. And so uh, I don't know. I think they're an interesting set of features. Um, and if you don't like them, you can just delete them. Um, now, along these lines, let me actually let me delete this. I'll bring this back. Um, you can make interesting shapes with projected curves in the same way. So let me. So I have a circle. I'm going to make it. I'm going to inscribe this circle into this body, okay? So I'm gonna, it's nor, currently doing like a normal projection. I'm gonna give it a vector projection, right? And when that's inscribed, now I can use that geometry for something if I want. And I can take these curves and I can offset them if I like and use this face to do modeling operations with as I like, um, maybe something like that or something like that. And this makes for like a pretty cool and unique workflow that's reminiscent of poly polygonal modeling, but um, is really uh, is really I think unique to plasticity. So I'm hoping that uh, that other people are as excited about this as I am. Um, there's a lot of potential, I think, to make cool interesting shapes, and uh, I think it's going to make plasticity a relatively unique offering uh, in the 3D modeling space. So cool. Thanks for your time. And just as a progress report, I kind of expect the parasolid port to be done-ish or mostly done by the end of September. Yeah.